If you choose to do the Desmos card sort, just a few notes about how that's different than some of the other Desmos activities. So it looks the same here in the uh, regular Desmos view and as you would before, you would have the uh, make your own copy to edit and so on. Uh, some things to keep in mind that the card sort activities, if you're making your own, are only available if you click on your name and you go to Desmos Labs and you check where it says card sort. So that has to be checked as something that's available. But once you do uh, have your card sort activity in there, student preview is the same as it was. And the difference is what this activity is. So what the students will see is they will see in this particular case, they've got several cards on there that they have to find the expressions or equations that match the number sentences. And so what they do is they find the cards that match. So for example, four is eight less than some number. And so we bring those together and those cards will match. So that's what they look like when they, they match up. And so as students pair the cards up, they are starting to get the matches. And in this case, uh, when they go to the next slide, uh, there's a question, it didn't have, this one didn't have a match, what's matching the number sentence and so on. Again, just like in the other Desmos activity, you're gonna create your own class code here. I'm gonna use one of my old class codes. And again, you're gonna let students know that they have to go to student.desmos.com and type in the class code that you have. The difference here is that when you look at the screens, what you're going to see is the card sort screen, which if you have pairs of green cards, those are matched correctly. If you have gray cards, that means that those cards aren't matched up with anything yet. And if you have red cards, that means that you have two cards matched that are actually not matches. And you'll see the progress of each person here. One of the neat things here is if you go to summary, uh, it will give you some information like most commonly incorrect groups or most common incorrect slide uh, cards. So that's a neat uh, feature to take make use of. And all of the other uh, uh, teacher pacing, pause uh, class and anonymous are available in this activity as well.